I was I was in shock. Boxing fans here in Riyadh with Ricky Funes. Ricky, how are you? So how's things been a little while? Last time I saw you was when Hamza fought last. How are you? Ah, uh, we're doing great. Amazing. Talk to me about this one. This is a defining fight for both fighters in Amor Williams and your fighter Hamza Shiraz. In your eyes, what do you see in Amor Williams as an opponent? Ah, he's a he's a tough cookie. He's gonna be a tough opponent. Uh, we can't underestimate him. Um, but we're we're uh, well prepared for uh, for anything that comes our way. Small, or tall, it doesn't matter. I'm just well bit prepared. Uh, we've been training really hard. You know, we spent our basically our whole camp in Preston, in uh, England, then Dubai, and then here. But he's uh, he's there. He's ready. Uh, how was Preston for you? Were you impressed too much? You know what? I was very impressed because you know what it is. It's quiet. Kind of reminds me when I was in Big Bear with uh, Gabriel and Rafael and Diego Corrales and them. It, it kind of reminds me. It's very secluded, very quiet, peaceful. Nobody bothering us. We wake up and run. It's very simple, very quiet and at peace. This fight seems to be a bit different from the rest. It does have a team element to it. Hamza is the captain as well. He's the captain, so there's a bit more pressure on him. Have you seen that in him in this in this training camp? Or have you had to put different tactics in to maybe even get a knockout? Oh, oh tremendously. You could see his his uh, maturity as as a fighter since when I started with him nine fights ago to now. He's a great great difference body definition mentally definition just, just well who's the team captain there has been a little bit of a back and forth uh, when they did the head to heads is it much like you read in that do you see much from Hamza does it, does it get to Hamza a little bit when I'm almost talking about Hamza and what vice versa you know what I, yeah, it doesn't he, he's a, he's a professional we call it you know he's uh, mentally well prepared for anything you could talk trash you know as long as you don't mention his beliefs uh, him being a Muslim then you you won't have no problems that's it <laughs> um, I do want to talk about the main event Deontay Wilder Gilles Zhang what do you expect from that fight obviously a lot of people saying listen after Deontay's last performance maybe he doesn't have it no more what, what, what do you want to say well, you're, you're correct it, it could be his last performance if he doesn't put, if he perform his performance would be like last time I don't think uh, I mean you should just give it up you know what I mean I just saw him yesterday I gave him a big hug shook him man those pair of mitts that he has on his hands but we'll see if he goes back to the way he was when he started his career I I, I, I think he has a uh, the chance to knock this guy out I do want to ask you about last weekend before I let you go, the undisputed, two weekends ago, undisputed, Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk. What did you make of that fight? Man, I was, I was in shock. I thought, uh, I thought Fury was winning the fight. And the problem is when you joke around and you play around in that ring and you don't protect yourself at all times, you're going to get hurt, you're going to get caught. It takes one punch to change the outcome of a fight. You could be winning 12 rounds and then get caught. He was dropping his hands, you know, he wasn't moving and he just got caught. I was very impressed by Usyk. He came back strong. I do want to ask you as a trainer, there's been a lot of talk about Fury's corner and too many voices in that corner. As a trainer, how important is it or is it important that there's only one voice being heard clearly for the fight? You said it. You hit it on the nail. It takes only one voice in that corner. If someone talks over me, then I don't want that person in my corner. There's got to be one voice, that's it. I learned that from Joe Goosen. There's only one person that talks in that corner and that's it. Uh, on the Fury, everybody was talking over each other, giving this instruction, do this, do that, do this. You can't, you can't do that. You gotta listen to that one voice during the whole camp, and that's simple as that. Uh, last one from myself. Yes. Do you feel like Alexander uh, Tyson Fury can revenge that loss yes. in October? Yes, I believe so. I, I believe Tyson could do it if he just sticks to listen to one voice. This is a, it's difficult to have a, a father in that corner. It's so hard, you know. It's so hard, but yeah, I, I believe he could come back from that. Awesome. Thank Enrique, so always, 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 always